Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Top 5 Tuesdays. If you are new to this series, it's in collaboration with my really good friend and fellow YouTuber Michelle Wong. This week we are going to be going over our top 5 favorite fall lip or lipsticks. We're going to, it doesn't matter, we, formula wise, it could be a liquid lipstick, it could be a gloss, it could be a regular traditional lipstick. It's just our top 5 favorite fall lippies. So if you are interested in seeing what my top 5 favorite fall lipsticks are, then let's get on into it. <laughs> All right, so the first lipstick that I wanna show you guys is the one that I am wearing today, and it's actually a liquid lipstick, and this is by Dose of Colors. This is in the shade Berry Me Too. So it comes in packaging that looks like this, and then let me show you a swatch of it. It's a really beautiful berry color. So here is a swatch of Bury Me Too. I really like the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick formula and I really feel like from what I remember, I feel like Dose of Colors was like the first brand that kind of started the whole liquid lipstick kind of like craze. I remember getting this liquid lipstick or the first Dose of Colors liquid, I think this one came out the year after, but the first Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks I purchased, I believe there were like four of them. There was like a red, another deep red, a hot pink, and like a purple. So I, I got three. I got the two like reds and the hot pink one. I believe that was like in 2014. And then they came out with Bury Me Too in 2015. And whenever I see this particular color, I just think of fall. I think of cold. And I just love this particular shade. And the formula is really good. All right, up next is a shade by Charlotte Tilbury. And it's the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Night Crimson. So this is in the Kissing Lipstick formula, which I really love. It's like smooth, it's creamy, it's hydrating. It feels really nice and comfortable on the lips. So there is a swatch of Night Crimson. It's like that really beautiful, dark, kind of vampy type of color with red, with brown, like burgundy in there. Really pretty. I love this particular um, formula. When I do wear this particular lipstick, I tend to wear it with a lip liner because colors like this, if they're not perfectly applied, you can see any sort of little imperfection. But this particular formula is just really good and I love this particular color and it totally reminds me of fall. All right, so the next color I wanna show you is by Pat McGrath and this is the Pat McGrath Matte Trans Lipstick in Flesh 3. So it comes in really cute packaging like this. And then this is what the lipstick looks like. So I feel like it's what I'm wearing right now. I feel like this is more of like the matte version of the Charlotte Chelberry Night Crimson that I just showed you. So here is a swatch of Flesh 3. So you can see it's very similar to the Charlotte Chelberry one. And at the end of the video, I will show you swatches of all five um, lipstick shades next to each other so you guys can see in comparison. But I feel like this is like the matte version of it. Brown, burgundy type of color. Now I like the Pat McGrath Matte Trans Lipstick Formula. I don't think it's as nourishing or hydrating as like Charlotte Tilbury's or Tom Ford's matte lipsticks, but I do think it is a really nice lipstick. It's a nice formula. It's not very long lasting. However, I know a lot of girls who don't really like the Matte Trans Lipstick Formula. So before you go out and buy, if you can go to a store and just kind of test out um, the formula and try it on your lips to see if it's comfortable for you I would recommend doing that because it's kind of like there's women that I know that were like this formula sucks me personally I like the formula it's not very long-lasting however I'm not necessarily someone who's looking for a super long-lasting type of lipstick formula but this color is just really beautiful and yeah I really like it a lot. Next is a lipstick that is very near and dear to me because it has my name. Now this is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Mona, which is what I'm wearing right now. This is that like perfect mahogany kind of brick red type of color. So that is what Mona looks like in the tube. Here is a swatch of Mona. So you can see it's really that perfect mahogany brick red type of color. I personally love the NARS Audacious Lipstick Formula. It is just so smooth, it's so creamy, it's really like that one swipe type of pigmentation. It feels very comfortable on the lips. It has really good color payoff. It comes in a ton of really beautiful shades. I happen to have a lot of them. And I really do think the NARS Audacious Formula is one of my favorite lipstick formulas out there. 
and of course I had to pick this particular color because it's a perfect fall color and it's called Monarch. <laughs> All right, so the last fall lipstick color that I want to show you guys is what I'm wearing right now. And it's not like your typical fall, like vampy colors, like the ones I've been showing you. It's more of a brown kind of terracotta type of nude. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick Formula in Ashton. So it looks like this. So here is a swatch of Ashton. You can see it's that like brown terracotta type of warm, like spicy type of like nude color. It's just such a pretty color and I it totally just reminds me of that perfect fall nude type of lipstick. And this particular formula, Anastasia Beverly Hills, some of the colors I noticed are a little bit more drier than the others and I feel like her newer um, liquid lipstick formula is a lot better than the first like formula that she came out with in like 2014. So this is of the newer formula, which I like a lot better. And I think this color is just so incredibly pretty and the perfect fall nude color. So here are swatches of my top five favorite fall lipsticks. So this one is the Dorsal Colors Liquid Lipstick in Bury Me Too. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Lipstick in Night Crimson. This is the Pat McGrath Matte Trans Lipstick in Flesh 3. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Mona. And then this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Ashton. So that is all of them so you guys can see my favorite fall lipsticks. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And when you are done watching me, make sure to head on over to Michelle's channel. I will link her video and her top five favorite fall lipsticks in the description box down below so make sure you go check out her channel and yeah if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell notification button that way when I do upload any sort of videos you will be notified and I will see you all very soon thanks bye